Welcome to our first episode of our new series called The Raw Doctor. Where you submit some raw pictures to us and we do our best to edit them in the way that we would edit our own pictures. So I'm going to be using some of the presets included in our Lightroom series and as well as just some techniques that I would use normally when editing my pictures. I'm gonna try to keep this pretty brief, uh, but we will be back again with another episode. So feel free to continue to submit uh, pictures and we will get to them. So I'm going to start with this very cool picture and I see that it's zoomed in. So I'm gonna click and zoom out. And I'm trying to figure, Dennis Kaiser took this photo in Iceland. And it's a really, really beautiful picture. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my base preset that came with the uh, photorec.tv base presets. And that's corrected lens distortion and added a little bit of sharpening. Now I'm going to hover over these other presets and just kind of get a preview of what they might look like right here on the navigator. So I think I'm gonna click on the neutral landscapes and color. And I'm I like the way that that looks a lot. There's a little bit of a vignette, so I think I'm going to go down. First, I'm gonna set this to solo mode. And I'm going to go down to lens corrections. Oh, effects, actually. And there is no vignette, so I think I'm going to actually just remove a little bit of vignetting, just barely. And I'm gonna set my midpoint A little bit. There we go. And I'm gonna feather a bunch because I don't want it to look very pronounced. I just want to brighten these edges a little bit. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna try to darken this spot right here because it's a little bit too blown out. And I can see right here that it's just a little bit blown out. I don't know that I can get it back all the way, but I'm certainly gonna try. So first I'm gonna zoom in right here. And now I'm going to use one of the brushes included in the preset pack. And I think I'm gonna choose Highlight Burn. And now I'm just going to paint. And we're bringing back actually a good bit of the color in the sky. I'm gonna try and see what highlight, the heaviest highlight burn looks like. That's a little too much. So I'm gonna choose highlight burn and then maybe just uh, tweak it. Just bring the highlights down a touch more. And I'm just going to toggle that on and off if I can. So it's subtle, but it's there. And I'm going to auto select edit pins. There we go. And I think I'm also going to saturate this just a little bit more. I'm also seeing here that my, I don't have any pure blacks, but there are evidently shadows here that should probably be pure blacks. So I'm gonna go to my tone curve, and this is a tip that I showed on episode five, I believe. And just use my curve to add a little bit of a black point and increase my contrast. And I think I'm pretty happy with the way that that looks. It's a pretty dark scene. Um, I might want to turn it just a little bit bluer so that it looks very dusky. Good, okay, let's move on to the next one. So this is a pretty cool picture. I am seeing, I'm just going, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn my exposure up just to see everything that I am working with here. 
it looks like the sky is actually a little bit soft so I'm seeing stars but it all seems just a touch soft so I'm gonna just bring it back down I'm gonna do my best I'm gonna start with my base preset and that didn't make a huge difference so I'm gonna now try my night sky preset and that's looking pretty good. I think uh, what I'm going to do is just dodge a little bit of the foreground because I really, really liked the little rolling hills down here. So I think I'm going to do this at an angle so that it doesn't brighten too much of this tree. And it's not as bright as I would like it to be. So I'm just going to turn that up a little bit more. And maybe just brush in some adjustment here. This is really what I'm looking for, This these, these little hills right here. They're really cool. And another thing that I'm going to do, so as I mentioned, this is a little bit soft. Um, there's not really much we can do about that. There's nothing at all that we can do about that, actually. But we can try to, if this was super sharp and in focus, uh, I would want to probably tone down these colors because they're very distracting. So I'm going to take my saturation down all the way. I'm going to make my brush super duper small and I'm just going to brush over here. And actually I'm going to delete that and maybe zoom in more. Three to one. Let's do that. And Lightroom's doing this weird thing where it had a different picture previewing on the navigator. So, and now I'm going to paint over. Just try to, it looks like there's just a little bit of chromatic aberration, which is causing that pink sort of shift in color. I'm also just going to try to burn this. I, I want it to be as hidden and subdued as possible. I'm actually, you know what, I'm not liking the way that looks. I'm going to try something different. Let's try something different. I'm going to leave my saturation at zero and I'm going to decrease my temperature. because This is looking a bit orange, so maybe if I look, I make it look a little bit blue. If I add some blue to it, then it won't stand out as much. And there's this one right here too. And you know what? I don't know why I didn't do this to begin with, but let's try this. Let's try to just clone this out. And it looks like I can't get, I couldn't get a small enough brush for it, but now I can. And let's do the same with that in that little point, in that little point. And that did a much better job than either one of the things that I tried to do first. So pretty pleased with that. And let's just take a look at what this picture looked like before and what it looks like now. So you can see a lot more detail in the foreground. And you know, the foreground's looking a little bit green. I know there's a lot of green, but it's looking a little bit unnaturally green. So I might see if what adding some tint does to this. And if you haven't noticed by now, one of the things that I usually do when I'm editing pictures is I just kind of play around with different settings and just slowly try to find out what works and what I like. So. Let's try to see a before and after of that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now let's move on to this portrait. And I think for this week, we'll end on this one because I'm already going a little bit too long. But this is a wonderful portrait of this woman. I love that the eyes are super sharp and focused. They, they are the main focus of the picture and the composition is excellent. And I'm, I really, really like this picture. So. I'm going to start with my base preset. Just going to add, remove the vignette, and add a little, added a little bit of, of sharpening to the picture. Um, now I'm going to add a little bit of brightness. I tend to like my portraits a little bit overexposed, 
so I'm going to just brighten it up. I'm going to go again to my tone curve. This is something that I do to a lot of my pictures is I just very lightly clip the shadows. And I'm not seeing any pure whites here, so I'm not going to go out and try to clip the highlights because then that would just add too much unnecessary contrast. And I'm going to add a little bit of contrast here and just a bit more exposure. And I might just try to warm it up and take away a little bit of magenta. There, and I don't think I would go any further than that. I mean, this is a beautiful portrait. And uh, yeah, I would be super happy with it. I think maybe if I were to get super nitpicky, I might crop up here. But, you know, I, I actually liked it. Just, I like the full crop. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you would like to submit a photo, uh, visit photorec.tv slash rawdoctor. Thank you very much and hope to see you again next time.